Do you remember the first day of teaching? Yeah, I was yeah. terrified. Really? How'd uh, you feel? Yeah, kids scare me. Even though like they're so cute, randomly they'll give me. <laughs> when did you do this? <laughs> you weren't paying attention in class. You were drawing. Okay, so Kat, <laughs> sorry, my question mm. might come off as super boring because okay. you've been asked this question a lot. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm I adamant. think I know where this is going. Okay, so yeah. just curious what brought you to come to Korea, what? brought you to Korea, and and ever since you're a middle school English teacher, mm -hmm, right? So mm -hmm. how do you start your job and, mm -hmm. and um, stuff? The story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of itself, yeah. So I've always been interested in living abroad and specifically somewhere in Asia and I had the opportunity to study abroad in university mm -hmm. in Seoul, Sejong, Daehakyo. So I was here for four months and it was the best experience ever. Oh my like, God. I recommend studying abroad to everybody because I learned so much, met so many people and I really got to experience what it's like to live in Korea. So I really loved it. So I knew once I finished university, I have to come back. So that that's what made me come back and become an English teacher. Mm -hmm. Working with middle school students. It's wow. fun. Uh -huh. I really enjoy it and I'm glad of the opportunity I've had to come here, live here for three years, be a teacher. So you've always wanted to be a teacher? <laughs> no. <laughs> no? Well, yes and no. I've always wanted, I love to teach and I like to help out. Mm -hmm. But teaching English, I like English, but it's not my passion. So I enjoy being English teacher for now but later on I want to teach other things besides just English mm, okay. but it's a good start to my teaching career mm -hmm. what were some dreams that you wanted to achieve as a child as a child yeah oh I've always loved traveling so I grew up in a family where we moved a lot and my own family aunts mm -hmm. and uncles they live all around the US some in Europe so I've always traveled as a child so being able to travel independently has always been a big dream of mine so i've been trying to do that that's my main dream also i guess my other dream is just experience how it's like to live in other countries because again i've always been interested in living abroad and that was my main dream as an elementary student middle school student so i'm fulfilling my dream right now and wow. it hasn't disappointed me so good to hear that yeah. you have the same experience mm -hmm. of living abroad yeah, yeah. So this video will be uploaded, right? And what if your students, My students see it? that? Definitely see it. <laughs> They're right over there, like yes. giggling about. They, a lot of them, love to interact with me outside of class, mm -hmm. and so we talk a lot outside of class. They know my hobbies, what I do. Oh. I know what they do, so they know something's going on. So they will probably see the video. Oh, for sure. But so I'll probably be getting a lot of comments. Yeah, they're gonna it. come up to you and like, hey, I yeah. saw you there. Yeah. Right? Okay. So do you remember? the first day of teaching at middle school? First day of teaching, I was yeah. terrified. Really? How'd uh, you feel? Yeah, kids scare me. Even though like they're so cute, but mm -hmm. middle school students, I didn't have a lot of experience with them. So it was very intimidating in mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm the only foreign teacher. So oh. everybody else around me, they're all speaking Korean. It's all in Korean. Yeah, I'm not familiar with the Korean public school system. Mm -hmm. It's different from the US. So I was very scared my first day. Mm -hmm. But everybody was so welcoming and like because I was a new teacher, mm -hmm. all of the students would like run around me in the hallway, follow me, say hi, and wow. they were very excited. It was so cute. It was the best experience, yeah. Was it in this area? Yes, it's in Gangnam. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what are some differences between Korean students and mm -hmm. American kids? I've never taught in an American school, but mm -hmm. I've been an American student. So I would say Korean students are usually more polite. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, Mm -hmm. American middle school students, I, I avoid them. <laughs> I don't want to go near them. But so I feel like Korean students are more polite, especially with like the teacher-student relationship. They are very respectful mm -hmm. of their teachers and they're usually very respectful in class, outside of class. So that's been really helpful for me mm -hmm. because it's more welcoming. I feel more comfortable working with them. So I would say they're definitely, they act more mature and appropriate than what I expect. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. It's, it's good for me. Right. 
So is there any circumstances or mm -hmm. students that you came across that, that you still like? remember? Because by culturally or just anything? Well, it's it's very random. Randomly, they'll give me candy and gifts, mm -hmm. and they'll also give me drawings that they do. A lot of my students are very artistic, and so sometimes they'll like give me random drawings of myself, and I'm like, when did you do this? <laughs> you weren't paying attention in class. You were drawing. It's okay. Oh my god. Because <laughs> I get something. Um, but that's very meaningful to me because I don't expect them to give me anything. Mm. And so when they share their candy with me, or when they share their snacks, or they draw pictures it's very meaningful to me and it's something that i would like to give back to them mm, because it's really it's, memorable yeah it's just a sweet sweet moment yeah. the cool. school lunch setting is very different right in korea and the states yeah yeah so in the states i would say half of the students bring their own lunch right. so we I all have our too. lunch boxes and then some of the students will buy lunch at my school two different lunch styles cafeteria food which was the typical Kipshi. school yeah mm -hmm. But then we had like a snack bar that sold pizza with like ice cream. A little more expensive, Ooh. but so some students would want to go there. It wasn't healthy at all. Junk food. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> junk food. Mm -hmm. So we would sometimes have that, but it was kind of like a mixture of bring your own, have snacks, and then a few would get cafeteria. What about you? I always brought my own. Mm -hmm. uh, I never had cafeteria food because I was a very picky eater growing up. I also just, I like to pack my own lunch i don't know it was very therapeutic for me and <laughs> okay. like my mom or dad they were working so i would usually have to do it myself mm -hmm. i like to pick out in the morning oh what do i want to eat today so i enjoy that but that's just a weird thing that i like to no, do it's not yeah. weird at all mm -hmm. okay thank yeah. you in the school setting, it's a bit different, right? Yeah, very different. In the different. States, mm -hmm. so like when the class is dismissed, mm -hmm. the bell rings yes. and then the students wear uniforms. Mm -hmm. And the building structure, I would say it's a bit different. In Korea? Yeah, compared to the US, mm -hmm. it is a little different. And classroom settings as well? It's yeah. Fine. Usually the teachers come and go. Yes, right? yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. There are homeroom teachers. Where, um, yeah, whereas in the States, it's yeah, more it's, we go there. Mm -hmm. right? So usually when the bell rings, all the students will go to their next building and in the States it's more spread out usually. Right. So students are walking around in Korea, one or two buildings together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the teachers just move about. It is very different. And the uniforms as well. The uniforms, yeah. Mm -hmm. I like the uniforms. It I really uniforms. helps me tell apart first year from second year and third year because they all have different colors. Mm -hmm. And sometimes because I teach over 600 students so wow. I don't know all of them so nice. and sometimes if they say hi to me I don't know, are you second year, third year? But whenever they have their uniform on, their color, I'm like, okay, I know who you are. Even the name tags, right? They, they sometimes the have their name tags. The color of name tags yeah. is different from the grade to grade. Yeah, huh? so it's easy to tell them. So okay. you can recognize. Very, very important for me. Over 600 people, oh, students, 600, that's a yeah. lot. It's yeah. a lot of faces. You won't yeah. be able to memorize their whole names. No, I try, I try. Uh, okay. but... So what are some thoughts of your friends or mm. family back in States? Mm. That you teach study abroad, I mean teach abroad, teaching Korea. So a lot of my friends growing up, they were also interested in Korea. I've tried to like make them come over here, but <laughs> okay. I don't know why they haven't visited yet. But they are also interested in Korea. They watch a lot of like Korean dramas on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So sometimes they'll ask me, "Oh, how's life?" They have this big dream of like soul life. Mm -hmm. They expect it's like the dramas. I'm like, no, it's it's like a normal life. It's it's good. I mean. Enjoying it. And then my family, they've always known that I was kind of like the child that wanted to leave and live abroad. So I think knowing that it would eventually happen has like helped them kind of be like, okay, here you go. They're very open minded mm -hmm. to whatever me and my brother want to do. They're supportive. very supportive. They're very, very supportive. They want us to follow our dreams, even if it means us leaving for a while. So I've always appreciated that. Had no problems with that. So has your family visited you not so yet, far? Not okay, yet. okay. They are planning to come next next year that it'll be their first time in Korea my mom's first time in Asia it'll be a wild experience I want to yeah. be a travel guide yeah. for yeah. you guys okay yeah. okay cool